Hello, this is Wachata Crew. We're going to take you on a ride in Dar es Salaam city. This is our city. You're welcome. Let's go. Mawila Chamsini, aka Loco, Major Mbuya, Kalasenga, and Ahmed Masood, Medi for short, together form the Wachata Crew, Tanzania's finest urban art collective who proudly call Dar their hood. But before we check out Dar's bustling center, we're heading to Major's favorite coffee shop in Mwanan Yanala neighborhood. How do we get there? With the three-wheeled Bajaji's Dar's favorite means of transport. There's nothing better than a strong coffee from your favorite barrister, served with his tasty sweets, of course. We call this uh, African sneaker bar. You know those like a sneakers chocolate. Graffiti isn't new to Dar. In 1970, many young people started to search for greener pastures elsewhere. But before they left, they took a piece of charcoal and wrote their names on walls around the city, just like here in the coffee shop, as a way of leaving their mark. But young people who are coming from the coast towns like Itanga, Bagamoyo, Dar es Salaam, they start to store away in the ship and then they ended up to be in the, in the western country. And it's where they start tagging around by using charcoals. Their marks were called chata. And now, just like back then, young people are still tagging their names around their city as a way to be remembered. Whether they are leaving the country altogether or entering the hustle and bustle of Dar. With almost 6 million people, Dar es Salaam is East Africa's biggest city and an economic powerhouse. The Wachata crew plan to do a graffiti piece at one of the city's big bus terminals this afternoon. But unfortunately, they ran out of spray paint. But they are in luck. Here at the Karyoko market in the city center, you can find almost anything you're looking for. So it's the perfect place to grab some spray cans, right? As you can see here also, you can take uh, two or three days to find variety of colors. You can go to different shops to find maybe just blue. So that's the challenge. Uh, okay, so maybe it's not that easy. But eventually, Wachata crew can get started. The four friends have learned how to make the most of what they have. Through their street art, the crew hope to keep the free urban spirit of Dar es Salaam alive, which continues to attract artists and activists from all around the world. Young people from Africa, you should know that Dar es Salaam was the only place where in the 70s and 80s all the revolution around the world, from Malcolm X to Che Guevara, to all of them at some point they've been in this city. So this city, I would call it the revolutionary city. So what's the Wachata crew's biggest dream? Encouraging more young people to express themselves with graffiti art. So what are you waiting for? Grab a can and chatta chatta.